Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a Instagram makeup inspired look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So first I'm priming my eyes using the MAC Mineralize Concealer and a Beauty Blender. And of course I am setting it with some loose powder. For the first two colors, I am mixing two colors from the Anastasia palette. I think this is called Sienna and Burnt Orange, but I'm not sure. But of course, I will link everything down below. And I am mixing these two colors in my upper crease. Next I'm taking the color Red Ochre and I'm using this color for my lower crease and the outer part of my eye and I'm just using a big blending brush. Now I am going in with an even smaller blending brush because I want this color to be like very red, very orange. Next for the eyelid, I am taking the color Phoenician Red and I'm applying it on my entire eyelid and later on I will be going in with another color because I want my eyelid to be like very dark pink. Uh, so I added the color Love Letter, but I will show you later on in the video and I am applying these two colors on my entire eyelid and also blending it together with the red ochre into my upper crease. Next I'm taking this gold shimmery color for my brow highlight. I usually don't use anything for my brow highlight but for this look I want it to be very glittery, very sparkly. And then I am going in with eyeliner of course and I am doing something different with my eyeliner usually I start out with the wing but I decided to start at the middle part of my eye and creating first my line and then I'm going to make my wing And for the beginning part of my eye, I'm using a liquid liner because that's just way more easy. Then moving on to the face, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer to give my face a nice smooth base. And then I'm going in with lashes. And these lashes are from eBay again. I bought them for two euros. I love these lashes. This is my second time using it so far, so good. And as you can see, I used way too much glue. So I was struggling with the lash, but it all worked out at the end. For foundation, I am mixing two foundations. I am mixing the Pro Longwear Concealer. No, not the Pro Longwear. I am mixing the Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation by MAC together with Face and Body, also by MAC. The 
then I'm going to color correct using an orange corrector and moving on to contouring I am using a MAC full brush it's the uh, number three I believe and I'm contouring as usual using my real techniques a contouring brush And for concealer, I'm using a different one this time, not the Pro Longwear Concealer, which I always use, but I borrowed the concealer from my mom because I couldn't find mine. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger. Sorry, mom, I will give it back to you, I think. Then to highlight, I am using uh, these drops by Cover FX in the color Sunlight. This is a very bright, extreme highlight. I love it. Applying it on my cheekbones and I'm blending in with a beauty blender. Then I'm going to set my under eyes using some translucent powder. I'm not going to bake my face because baking my face usually doesn't work with my under eyes so I'm just applying a little bit more than I usually do and that's it for my under eye. To set my highlight I'm going in with this one by Bobbi Brown and I'm spraying some Fix Plus on my brush just to make the highlight a little bit more intense. Well not a little bit more, just extreme. Then I'm going in with my new favorite face powder. This is the MAC Studio Perfecting Powder in the color Medium Plus. This powder is amazing. It will just give your face some kind of filter, makes it matte. I absolutely adore this powder. And then I'm going to set my contour using a powder by MAC. It's a pro product. I don't know the name, but anyway. And then I'm going to use the Studio Fix Powder in the color C7 to blend my contour with my highlight and a little bit of the Bobbi Brown highlighter on my nose and a little bit on the rest of my face because I want to glow. Moving on to blush, I'm using Love Joy by MAC, it's a mineralized blush and then I'm going to bake my contour to make it even more snatched. And yeah, I applied a little bit more. This is the gold powder by MAC, I talked about it in my MAC favorites video. And moving back to my eyes, I'm going back in with the red ochre color and I'm mixing it with the pink one and I'm really, really, really want to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm going to dust off the baking I did and I'm going back in with the same color I used under my brows for my inner corner highlights. Just 
just applying some liquid liner on top of my gel eyeliner because I saw some glue because I used way too much because I wanted to look to be more pink I added a little bit of a different color from the palette and to make it a little bit more dark and a little bit more vibrant and I'm applying it on my eyelid and then I'm blending this color with a tiny tiny blending brush and a bigger one now that we're done with the face, I'm just going to do my lips and I'm using a lip liner by MAC. This one is called Morning Coffee and I'm filling my entire lips with this one. And then I'm going in with a liquid lipstick and I'm only applying it on the center part of my lips and I'm going to blend it out with a brush. Because I wanted it to be a little bit more metallic, I am using a metallic lipstick, a gold one. I think it's by Milani and I'm applying it also in the center part of my lips. And on top of it, I am using this lip gloss by MAC. It's called Oyster Girl. And then we are done with the video. I want to thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.